We live in dangerous times, not just from terrorism and crime. Our own fundamental rights are under siege. Now, I'm going to give you the most vivid example that I can possibly give you. All of us as Americans have a right to due process. That means we are innocent until proven guilty. The reason that the founding fathers put this in the Constitution is that in a monarchy like England, George III, if George III said you were guilty, you were guilty. All right? In Putin's Russia, if Putin says you're guilty, you're guilty. China, Vietnam, Cuba, on and on, all totalitarian societies. If the government says you're guilty, that's it. No lawyer, no jury, you're guilty. Here, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, and the other founders went out of their way to set up a process whereby accusations had to be proved in order for action to be taken against the accused. I wrote a whole book on this, Killing the Witches. Now, that was before we had a constitution. Those are the first people that came over. And they hanged 20 human beings for nothing. Because some kook, some minister, some judge, oh, they're witches. So now, in 2024, we're back to Salem, Massachusetts, because of the media. So any famous person, or even if you're not famous and you're in a local town or whatever, accused of anything, boom, there it is, front page. Okay? And you're damn guilty. And if it's proven that you're not, that'll be on page 77 three years from now. All right, let's get specific. So one of the biggest due, press, uh, due process deniers in this entire country is Kamala Harris. So as senator, she took the lead in convicting Brett Kavanaugh of heinous crimes when he was younger. All right, Trump nominated Judge Kavanaugh to Supreme Court. Kamala Harris took the lead in the Senate and smeared the man all day long. No due process, he was guilty. All right, here's what she said September 27, 2018. Go. I'm just asking, are you willing to ask the White House to conduct such an investigation? Because as you are aware, the FBI did conduct a background investigation into you yes, before we were aware of these most recent allegations. So are you willing to ask the White House to do that and say yes or no, and then we can move on? I've had six background investigations over 26 years. Sir, as it relates to the recent allegations, are you willing to have them do it? The, the, the witness testimony is before you. No witness who was there supports that I was there. So no evidence has come forth, even to this day, no hard evidence that Brett Kavanaugh committed any crime or did any public indiscretion. Now, the FBI investigated it, didn't come to a conclusion, but issued a report on Kavanaugh. And each senator, including Harris, got the report, but it was not made public. I guess for privacy reasons, because the FBI had to interview a whole bunch of people. But the FBI and the Justice Department didn't take any action against Kavanaugh. And obviously, he was confirmed by a vote of 50-48, very close, on October 6, 2018. He's now a Supreme Court justice. So I remember Kamala Harris's conduct in that case very vividly. And most Democratic senators were the same way, but not as visible as she. Believe all women. Remember, remember the slogan? And Kavanaugh's guilty. He's guilty. Okay. Now, Doug Imhoff, the vice president's husband, is accused of hitting a woman in 2012. Story is very dubious. Okay, to me, as a trained investigator and journalist, very dubious story. I know who put it out. I don't trust them, but it was page one in New York Post today. 
And I'm not going to get into it until there is a name on the story for the accusation. There's no name. It's all anonymous sources. Now, I don't do that. You know that I don't do that. Because that's part of the erosion of due process that puts us all in danger. Hey, Bill O'Reilly here. America is at a breaking point. Record inflation, interest rates, debt. The last thing we need is more reckless government spending and higher taxes, and they could happen. But a Harris presidency could bring us into that zone, plus a hit to your retirement savings. So protect your savings with American Hartford Gold. They'll help you secure your retirement by diversifying with physical gold and silver. Start with a simple phone call. They'll guide you through the process, even deliver gold and silver right to your door. Or place it directly in your IRA or 401k. Don't wait. These safe haven assets can protect you in an economic crisis. Call or text American Hartford Gold today. Tell them O'Reilly sent you to get up to $15,000 of free silver on qualifying orders. Call 866-501-5201. That's 866-501-5201. Or text BILL to 65532. Again, 866-501-5201. Or text BILL to 65532. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.